Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys here and welcome back to this month's PCW tournament, PCW Rebirth. We are now on to round number three in the cage, MMA shoot style, full cowling, dude. Scott Hall's in the mix, John Cena, Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels is in this episode. Goldberg versus Randy Savage. All Might, the number one ranked hero, is taking on the snake. Randy Orton, I mean, we got some stuff going down in this round, okay? You're gonna wanna see it. Now, if you wanna join PCW next month, all you have to do is check the description for the link, as usual. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And of course, tell me down in the comments below what your favorite match of the episode was and why it was the one with All Might in it. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to the first match, which is Scott Hall versus John Sheen. Look at these two big men right here. Matter of fact, most of the people left in this tournament are pretty big dudes. I mean, you got people like Scott Hall, John Cena, Luke Harper, Goldberg, All Might. I mean, there's some big dudes in here. I mean, that's just how it be. We in the cage, man. Things are different around here. There ain't no ropes, there ain't no turnbuckles. It just goes to show how much that helps these people. The turnbuckles and the ropes and being able to do all that sort of stuff, you know? Scott Hall representing Jonathan I. John Cena representing Vincent E. It's going to be really difficult for Scott Hall. Now, I know the Razor's Edge is a very good move, you know? No one kicks out of the Razor's Edge. Well, you're facing off against John Cena. That's in a completely different story here. John Cena going to fire away some punches in the corner here, but Scott Hall is going to be able to answer back. Scott Hall is quite the big dude. So maybe that will come in at an advantage for him versus John Cena here. John Cena going to throw a punch as both of them sort of etch towards the cage a little bit more. There you go. Scott Hall using that, that height. John Cena with the suplex on the Scott Hall, putting him down pat. But Scott Hall is going to fire back with a punch for John Cena. Hits that DDT, and both men cause a reset here at 2 minutes 50 seconds into round number one. They were definitely putting all the gas they got into this. Uh oh, Scott Hall putting that headlock down. John Cena not going to give up just yet, but it's getting close, it looked like. Oh, a big spinning lariat from Scott Hall. John Cena going to answer back, not going to fall down to that just yet. Scotty's going to pick him back up. I thought maybe he was going to go for that, that discus lariat one more time. Uh-oh, John with the stomp and cheese from 2K. A big lariat puts down John Cena. Scott Hall looking to follow up with a razor's edge, but not going to happen as we go into a strike contest. Back and forth right now, John Cena and Scott Hall. John Cena going to put him down, wave into the crowd. I think that's a five-knuckle show. My man looking for the five-knuckle show. There ain't no ropes here, buddy. Driving Scott Hall's head to the mat. Does he want that attitude adjustment? Doesn't matter what he wants because there's the bell for round number one. Round two will get started. They're going to go right at each other. I just noticed John Cena's kind of got like the Goku stance. This man's really wild now. In goes Scott Hall with the punches to the head. Does he want that razor's edge? I think he's going to try to get it here. John Cena out like a light. No, he's going to be able to get right back up. I thought my man was going to be a little woozy poozy. Not going to happen. Big choke slam from Scott Hall. And he dropped the suck it. This man, Scott Hall, knocking John Cena out in round number two and taking Jonathan I to the next round, people. Sorry, John. You never thought you'd see it again, yet here in PCW, it is happening. Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker. Old man Shawn in the camo, Undertaker in the old school gear. It's happening, people. It's going down. Shawn Michaels representing Connor D. Undertaker representing TH Taker. Undertaker's had one hell of a tournament so far. This man was made for the cage, dude. I'm telling you, this man is putting it all out there. Look at these combination flurry punches here from the Undertaker. But all it takes is one little low blow from Shawn Michaels turning things around. And now Shawn's giving him the hands, too. Both of these men have had historical matches together. Legendary matches together. But I'm going to tell you right now. There ain't gonna be no diving here. It's gonna be back and forth action. As you can see right here, we got strike contests. It's still going. Shawn Michaels taking down The Undertaker, but Undertaker gonna throw back a punch of his own. Clubbing blow to the back there of Shawn Michaels, and now Undertaker going for that mount. Shawn Michaels not gonna let it happen. Oh no. Choke slam to Shawn Michaels, and Undertaker's moving in for the kill, people. 
Sean's trying anything he can to make it not happen, but Undertaker wants it, and when Undertaker wants it, he gets Tombstone, and Sean is out. Undertaker and TH Takeover are moving on, and let me tell you something. He is going to be one hard man to beat. The Miz having one hell of a tournament himself. I don't think anyone expected this man to get this far into the tournament. We are in round number three, and The Miz is still here firing on all cylinders. My man is putting the work in. Luke Harper here himself. Luke Harper making his PCW debut this tournament, and he's had one hell of a tournament himself. Harper representing Craig R., The Miz representing the best AME as The Miz is going to town right now on Luke Harper. Lariats to the back of the head, forearms to the neck. This man, Miz, figure four leg lock. Shouts out to Ric Flair on that one. Luke Harper has got to try to turn this match around, and Nita the Admin doesn't even shake the Miz a little bit. Luke going to send Miz to the floor, trying to follow up with a punch. Back again, Harper going to the well. A little too much, it might fire back on him. Wait a minute! Skull crushing finale. Harper able to eat that one, though. Swinging neck breaker will put Harper down. You got to wonder how much damage that did to him, though. Luke throwing a clubbing overhead. Shoot headbutt from Harper now. Miz is now dragging him center of the ring. Luke Harper has got to watch out. What has Miz got in mind here as he goes for the head of Luke Harper? Three minutes into round number one, we got ourselves a strike contest. People back and forth action here. The Miz and Harper. Harper going to be the one that comes out on top. Big Lariat drops the Miz. The Miz has got to stop the bleeding. Harper, Falcon Arrow, goes for the pin. Not going to happen here in the cage. Miz just trying to get Harper off him the best he can. A punch there, swinging. Neckbreaker puts Harper down. You got to wonder how much damage is done to him. Uppercut down goes the Miz. Center of the ring as Harper. Discus Lariat! And that is it for the Miz. Luke Harper and Craig R are moving on. The Miz had one hell of a tournament. By the end of the day, Harper going to put that meat sauce on him and move on. Two old schoolers right here. Rhino and Mick Foley facing off in PCW Rebirth. Rhino going to go straight to that belly to belly. Rhino representing Tom C. Mick Foley representing Chris D. Mick Foley making his PCW debut and beat Big Bear. I want everyone to keep that in mind. This man beat Big Bear. Mick Foley with the suplex. Down goes Rhino. Both men already down and out one minute in. You can tell this tournament is starting to take its toll on all the competitors. Mick Foley going for that arm piece. He wants that pivot. Rhino with the gore. Mick Foley has got to watch out for those swinging neck breaker, though. He's going to fire back. He's got to watch out for those gores. Center of the ring goes both men as Mick Foley. And I know he's got that sock somewhere in there. It's somewhere in there. Rhino picking Mick Foley back up. Foley going to fire out with a clubbing blow to the back there. Big spine buster, Alabama slam almost there from Rhino. Center of the ring, down goes Mick Foley. Rhino has got him right where he wants him back again with a spine boost. Ah. Mick Foley firing away with a punch. Trying to go for a suplex, Rhino not going to let it happen. Mick Foley back to his feet before anything even happens. Death Valley, no, okay, a TKO from Rhino. Score from Rhino! Mick Foley is still in this match, people. Three minutes, 30 seconds in, this man is still in this match. Gore after Gore, Mick Foley is just eating these things. Up goes the Rhino. My man is an Animorph. Belly to belly suplex. Uh-oh. Mick, you might want to move out of the way. Able to stop him with that snap suplex. Both men are down 420 into round number one. We're getting closer and closer to that five. TKO again. Mick Foley still alive in this match with the gore. There's just too much happening. Rhino and Tom C are taking that W, people. And they are moving on to the next round. They are destined to do this forever. Triple H and Sting going head to head one more time. And PCW, it's got to happen. I'm telling you, they're destined to do this forever. Who will come out on top this time? Sting representing John W. Triple H representing Taylor C. Back and forth between both men here. Look at this. They are just so equally matched. It's insane. Judo throw there from Sting who's been hitting the jujitsu classes. Striking down Triple H here as he goes in for the kill. Center of the ring. He wants that scorpion death lock. He knows he can get that W with that death lock. Judo throw again on Triple H here in round number one of PCW Rebirth. 
We are in the first round of three rounds in this matchup. Triple H up goes Sting, Sting down goes Triple H. Tries to follow up, maybe going for that Lariat, a very powerful move, a very popular move here in PCW right now. Triple H picking up Sting. Suplex action, but Sting was able to get behind him. I thought maybe he was gonna go for that Scorpion Death drop. And that's not what he did for him to the back of the neck of Triple H. We've seen it before, all it takes is one pedigree to turn things around. The punch is coming out, we got ourselves a strike contest, back and forth Sting and Triple H. Down goes Sting, Triple H gonna move in here. Kicks to the back with the 2K cheese combination, flurry of punches here from Triple H. Sting is starting to feel the pain. Down goes Triple H, Sting picks him back up, big lariat, dropping the elbow, Triple H back to his feet with a combination of his own. Up goes Sting, Triple H now trying to figure out what's the best strategy to take here. He's got Sting right where he wants some pedigree to Sting. Sting is still in this match, Ref James is not calling it just yet. Right at the end of round number one, and Sting survives for another round. Both men take a breather to, wait a minute! I thought that was gonna be it. Round two here, coming right out the gate with the pow driver, but Triple H is not out of this matchup just yet. A knee to the adamant, Sting going for that killing lariat, not gonna happen. Triple H drops it with the head hit! And Sting is out of here! Triple H doing it again! Triple H taking Taylor C to the next round at PCW. Now we have a WCW matchup for you here. Goldberg facing off against Randy Savage. Goldberg representing Hale Mendoza, Randy Savage representing Sebastian P. I think a lot of people might actually be surprised by how well Randy Savage is performing in this tournament because he's had one hell of a tournament so far. This man's really been doing the damn thing. Going in for that headlock there on Goldberg. I mean, Randy Savage is a shooter, man. He's a shooter. He ain't playing around. Up goes Goldberg. Big suplex there from Randy Savage. He's putting some big boy damage down here on Goldberg, but Goldberg's going to be firing back with something of his own here soon, I'm sure of it. Dragon corkscrew from Goldberg. This man's got an interesting moveset, man. Elbow to the back of the neck from Randy Savage, who goes in from behind. Forearm shiver to the back of the neck. Goldberg going to try to drag Randy out, try to change the pacing. Is he going to be able to do it? No, Randy Savage is going to throw a punch. Goldberg got him up. Wait a minute, Randy Savage able to get behind, driving Goldberg into the mat. Up goes Goldberg. Randy Savage now with the elbow to the back of the neck. Goldberg firing away with shots. Closer and closer. Look how equally matched these two men are. Wait a minute. Goldberg going up. Pow driver from Randy Savage. He's still in the matchup. Three minutes into round number one. Goldberg is still here, people. Back body drop. Uh oh, wait a minute. Randy Savage is feeling himself. This man dropped the wheel. Leg lock here from Goldberg. Is that going to be enough? Ref James asking Randy Savage if he wants to give up. Not going to happen. Body slam from Randy Savage is just so close to the cage. Big punch to the back. Goldberg. Oh, wait a minute. Randy Savage with a low blow. Forearm shiver to the back. Goldberg is out like a light. Dragging Goldberg out across from the cage there. A body slam from Randy Savage. Dropping the elbow on the neck of Goldberg one more time. Judo throw as Goldberg gets Randy Savage back up towards the center of this ring. Body slam, down goes Randy Savage. Oh, wait a minute. We were about to get into a strike contest at the end of round number one. Not going to happen. Round number two starts now as both men get a breather. Dragon corkscrew there from Goldberg. Down goes Goldberg as Randy Savage looks to follow up. The punch just floored Goldberg. How much more does this man got in the tank? How much more do either of these men have in the tank? These matches that go to round number two, whoever wins is going to be a little more winded in the next couple of rounds. Belly to belly, down goes Randy Savage. Up goes Big Randy, but he gets behind Goldberg. Goldberg going to stop him with an elbow to the back of the head. Wait a minute, Goldberg was going for something, but not going to happen. Gorilla press slam, look at him, just bench pressing this man, Randy Savage. Lariat to the back of the neck. Goldberg is starting to string together stuff, and Randy Savage is not in a good place. Center of the ring, throws Randy Savage to the ground, gets on back up, big spear from Go Randy Savage is still in the match after the spear, people. He is still in this matchup. This man, Randy Savage, is crazy. Is the sleeper gonna be enough? Is the sleeper gonna be enough? No, it is not. Goldberg still in this match. 
Two minutes, 30 seconds into round number two. This might be the longest match of the tournament. Big Spear, and Randy Savage is out cold. Goldberg and Hale Mendoza are moving on to the next round, people. The Spear was just enough to put him away. Two newcomers to PCW, both making their debut this tournament. Randy Orton with the RKO in the last round was pretty crazy. But I mean, he's not the number one hero, All Might. And All Might is here. Randy Orton representing Chris M. All Might representing Timmy Changa. Who is going to come out of this the victor? I really don't know. I honestly don't know what's going to happen here. It's like All Might versus Orochimaru. I mean, who is going to win? All Might dropping some kicks, dropping some knees. Randy Orton, big impaler DDT. See, these big moves from Randy Orton is what's going to change the pacing of this match. Swinging neckbreaker there from Orton now. All Might back to his feet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Big tornado brain buster. The velocity. Oh, the spinning bat fist. That's what won him the last match, but not going to win it here. Randy Orton able to get out of that. My man was able to smooth his way on out of there. It was looking bad for a second. DDT there from Randy Orton, and Orton is hurt. Dropping the clubbing blow to the back of the back of the back of All Might. This man's got three backs. That's how you know he's strong. Orton dropping him, DDT down goes All Might, but All Might is just right there ready to go one more time. Up he goes, Orton with the low blow. All Might is down. And now we got ourselves a strike contest, boys. Back and forth. All Might, the number one ranked hero, and Randy Orton is Schnick. From behind. Wait a minute, what is it? One winged angel from All Might taking a page out of Kenny Omega's book as All Might gets him back up. Spinning power bomb, and Randy Orton is out of here. All Might and Timmy Changa are moving on to the next round of the PCW Rebirth Tournament, people. And now for the final match of round number three. We got Mark Henry in the salmon suit facing off against a book T to see who rounds out round number three so we can get to the elite eight of this tournament and get down to the nitty gritty. Mark Henry representing Mr. West and Booker T representing Insurrection. And I don't know who's gonna come out of this one. Booker T's one hell of a competitor, but he's I don't I don't the, the, the numbers, the graphs, the logistics, they don't I don't they don't compute when you Mark Henry's wrestling in this atmosphere. I don't I don't they don't know what, what do the numbers mean? What do they mean? Mark Henry down with a body slam. Booker T gonna follow up, not gonna happen. Body slam from Mark Henry. He said, Whatever you can do, I can do better. I'm the big man around here, dog. Mark Henry gonna drag him out, elbow to the back. Towards the center of the ring, Booker T picks up Mark Henry. Oh, a big spinning kick to the back, but Mark Henry's still in this matchup. Booker T gonna throw a forearm, Mark Henry gonna get him off of him. A big Sparta kick sends Booker T back about 10 feet. Booker gonna pick him back up now, drop kick to the back of Mark Henry. He's doing a lot of moves to the back of Mark Henry, if you've noticed. Suplex from Big Marky Mark over here. Picks up Booker T, drops that knee into his abdomen. Big elbow to the back of the head now. Still in round number one, the shoot headbutt from Mark Henry. What has he got in mind here? Big gorilla press slam, just dropping Booker T. Dragging Booker T out. Towards the center of the ring, a little more towards the cage now. Mark might be looking for that world's strongest slam, we'll see. Strike contest now between the two men, back and forth. Mark Henry comes out on top, but using all of his chakra. Oh, that clubbing blow to the neck bone. Down goes Mark Henry, Booker T now. Following up, 20 seconds left in round number one. The DDT will drop Mark Henry, but Mark Henry's back to his feet. 10 seconds remaining, five seconds remaining in round number one. Is he gonna be able to do something? Oh, the world's strongest slam was right there! But it's not happening, and now we're on to round number two. Mark Henry had it revved up. It just won't ready to happen. Mark now on the ground after a sidewalk slam from Booker T. Booker picks him back up. World's strongest slam critical! And Mark Henry in a savage show! He did it! This man is moving to the Elite Eight and taking Mr. Weston with him. I'm telling you the numbers, man. What do they mean?
All right, everybody, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. On the next one, we'll be head heading into the round four semifinals, finals, and finding out who is the September champion, and then having him face off against Tetsuya Naito for the PCW World Championship inside the cage. That's right, people. Remember to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed for more of that goody-goody. Tell me down in the comments what your favorite match of the episode was, and I will see you guys next time. See ya!